The Federal Trade Commission is proposing new measures to crack down on fake online reviews. Experts say more than 99% of us read online reviews before we make a purchase, but nearly one-third of all reviews out there are fake. That's a large number. For more on this, let's bring in Serena Viswa Nathan. She's an associate director of the FTC's Division of Advertising Practices. That number is way larger than I thought, a third. And I know that I have kind of like my own little trick where, when I look at reviews that if if the comments all sound very similar, then I then I totally disregard the review, even if it says five stars. You know, I think that's a red flag. But I think most of us out here are just trying to sort of play it by ear. So tell us about this regulatory proposal and how it, it would be addressing fake reviews. Hi, Emory. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, the FTC has seen a massive increase in online reviews in the past few years. And as you noted, we're all using them now to d make decisions on whether to buy a product, where to stay on vacation. But unfortunately, yeah, with the rise in online reviews, we have seen that bad actors can manipulate or fake reviews to deceive consumers, you know, to, for their own benefit. Mm -hmm. So the FTC is proposing a new rule to attack this problem and enhance our power to crack down on fake reviews. While it's just a proposal at this point, the FTC's proposed rule would make it crystal clear that it's illegal to do things like write or sell fake reviews from people who don't exist or who never use the product or to buy positive reviews or even to buy negative reviews about your competitors. Um, really, the rules intended to deter this illegal behavior because it would allow the FTC to get financial penalties of up to $50,000 per violation mm. or even to get money back to consumers if they lost money due to a fake review. Right now, in a lot of cases, the FTC just doesn't have that legal authority to get money from these companies. Mm. So the focus would then be on the companies providing the product, trying to sell the product, not on the platforms who allow for reviews to be written. I mean, the platforms do play a role here, for sure. Um, you know, we know and we've seen re um, reports that the fake reviews are bought and traded in groups on social media platforms, and the platforms should crack down on that. Review platforms also should make it easy for consumers to and businesses to report fake reviews to them. Sometimes now it's very difficult to find how to even report a fake review. Um, and of course, the platforms should take all possible steps to detect and remove fake reviews. Now, we know that, you know, false advertising is, is against the law, but this somehow doesn't fall under false advertising? It, it is already uh, against the law. This is already false advertising. Um, what the rule would do, like I mentioned, was to enhance our legal authority. In essence, it would allow us to penalize these companies by um, allowing us to get $50,000 per violation. Mm -hmm. um, we really think that you know, the possibility of significant financial penalties under a rule should make some of these bad actors think twice about um, writing fake reviews and selling fake reviews. So, you know, what are those sort of larger implications of fake reviews? reviews being out there. I, I guess, so the question I'm asking you, I know it's a big deal for me because I don't want to waste my money, but it's the general question. Why is it bad for business? Yeah, I mean, not only, as you said, you know, it, there are, you know, millions of consumers rely on accurate reviews before spending their hard-earned money. So those consumers are being deceived and possibly wasting their money. But it, you know, a rule would also protect honest businesses mm -hmm. that are just trying to compete fairly in the marketplace that don't engage in this type of conduct in, you know, writing fake reviews or using intimidation to remove, make consumers review negative, remove negative reviews. Mm -hmm. So it really is intended to make the marketplace fairer as a whole and more honest as a whole. Fascinating stuff. I would love to see some guidelines. Serena Viswanathan, thank you very much. Thank you so much.